Hi, it's Michelle from Pocket of Pretty. Do you have people in your life that just make you feel bad? Beth Moore calls those people prickly people. Prickly people come in all shapes and forms. They're the person who flat out says mean things to you. They're the passive aggressive person. They're the person who always tries to let you know that they're better than you. They come in all shapes and forms. They're the controlling person. The person who always has to tell you what to do. Now the thing is, we can't change anybody else. The only person that we can change is ourselves. Now you may be saying, but I'm not doing anything wrong. Okay. First of all, take a really close look at the situation. It is true that you possibly are not doing anything wrong. So in that situation, the only thing you can change is how you react to it. One of the things that I do to determine how I react to a, a prickly person is I think about what their motivation might be. Okay, now a lot of the time we, you know, right off the bat say, well, they just don't like me. That's probably not true. It's more likely a case of they don't like themselves. And I know a lot of us know this in our heads, but we sometimes need to know it in our hearts. So let's delve a little bit deeper into that, okay? How about the person who always has to tell you what to do or that you're not doing it right or this is the way it should be done? They're looking for control. So ask yourself, is this a situation where I can give them some control? How much am I really affected by them having a sense of control? I um, had a coworker when I was young and it really bothered me that she was one step up the ladder. And I had worked for the company longer, but she, I went off to college and she had stayed home. And so she got promoted. And at first I fought it tooth and nail. I, even if I did what she said, I had an attitude. When the change really started to happen, and, and she was angry with me a lot. The change really started to happen when I just decided to say yes. She says to do this, go, okay. And have a good attitude about it. Go into it every single day and ask yourself, is this really worth the fight? If it is, I'm not talking about big issues, okay? I'm talking about little piddly things. Then go ahead and let them have that control. Find ways that they can have control and praise them in areas that they feel confident. Really, that's what they're looking for. They want to feel in control. They want to feel confident. And they're doing anything they can to gain that confidence. Same thing's true for the person who always has to try and make you feel like they're better than you. They're just insecure. When somebody has to go out of their way to say, look, I've done this better, think about them from a perspective of they're a hurt child. The best thing you can do for that person is to let them know what you think is great about them. Love them. One of the things I have to do all the time is ask God, help me love this person. Sometimes people are hard to love, but the more you can genuinely love another person, the easier your life really is going to be. Now, does that mean that person's never gonna be prickly? No. But does it ease the situation for you? Yes. If you know that you've done everything that you can to be kind to that person and they still persist, 
it's on them. That's their own hurt. You know, there's an old saying that hurt people hurt people. It's true. So love them. Encourage them. You know, those people that talk about you. My mom once told me that people that talk about you see it as a gift. Maybe the time that they spend talking about you is time that they're not talking about somebody else. Somebody who maybe can't handle it as well as you can. If they're talking about you, again, that's their own damage. Look at it and say, okay, do I have a part in this play? Now there's another situation to keep in mind. When I discovered Beth Moore's sermon on prickly people, I also discovered something I didn't like. And that was that I was another person's prickly person. I went home crying because someone had poked and poked and poked and poked and poked at me over and over and over. And instead of lashing out at them, which I'm not really sure why I did this, I lashed out at someone who was completely innocent. I think a lot of us have done that. Even if you lash out at them, it's only giving them what they want. Anyway, I went home and I cried and I looked up mean people on the internet. <laughs> mean people. And up popped this video by Beth Moore. And she said, do you have prickly people in your life? And I cried, yes, Beth, I have prickly people. That person is mean. And then she said, are you somebody's prickly person? And I realized there was a reason that person was prickly with me because I was prickly with them. See, when we look at other people, we also have to look back at ourselves. If you don't like what you see, then change it. What I did from thenceforth is I asked my son, my teenage son, every day in the afternoon to ask me, did I hold my tongue? One of the hardest things for me to do when that person said something mean to not say something back, something that I would regret to, I don't know, to respond with kindness. And there were some days when, when he would ask me, did you hold your tongue? I would have to say, no, I didn't, I messed up. And we'd pray about it and I'd think about it and I'd go to the next day and I'd say, okay, today's the day. I'm going to hold my tongue. Do you have prickly people? If you do, ask yourself, am I part of the problem? And if you are, fix it, work on it. If you truly aren't, respond with love. Think about what's behind the prickles. What's behind the anger of that person that's in your life. Think about how you can respond in a loving way and not take it to heart. Another little piece of advice. One of my dear friends told me, Michelle, stay away from the toxic people. If you have lovingly responded over and over again, and if it is possible, then give yourself some distance between that prickly person and you. Just because they want to be near you doesn't mean that you have to allow them in. I do say give them a chance. I do say love them. But if they're truly toxic and it's possible, give yourself some space. Your life should be pretty. Your mind should be calm.
one of the things you can do is look at how you respond to prickly people. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and maybe share it with a friend.